prior to circle segments coming out, um, you were relegated to ball end mills. Ball end mills um, could only cut on the radials. You know, whatever was engaged at that time, a small section of the ball. They have more contact surface than a typical ball end mill, so you'll be able to drastically take a wider, more aggressive cut, if you will, for finishing. Um, makes time reduction uh, the main key point. If you know what circle segments are and you go to use them, I, they, they've revolutionized this industry, I, I think. You imagine a, a 4,000 step over versus a 40,000 step over in a, in a complex pocket, you're saving exuberant amounts of time, you know, and that allows me to get the part done and off the machine and get to the next one faster. My job is to help the customer and end users obtain the highest performance tool for the application. The best holder, the best drill, the best tab, etc. and run at the most effective speeds and feeds that are possible. So we help them not only select the tool, the holder, the strategy on how to utilize it, but also, you know, to put it together as a total package. When you're in the atmosphere of trying to get the job done, you don't have time to investigate, you know, what kind of tools are out there in the industry. Dan is very helpful. Um, Dan shared all of his tool library with me, which makes it really easy for me. I don't have to redraw their tools in my CAM package. He just shares the library, it's ready to go. There isn't any room for error on my behalf. I know that the tool works and it fits in the, in the CAM package. I've tried almost every tool in that library, so I know that they're they're going to be uh, you know, solid as far as the information that's getting output in, in the camera system. Um, the end mill is made up for itself in the first time of its use, um, and everything after that is just money in the bank.